affects us while we're here today. So uh, let's have let's have fun, a few drinks, a laugh, and uh, and a good time. And good luck, um, And if you're useless, and may the best team, <laughs> and may the best team win. Yeah. 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 Okay, Ooh. let's get. Those stumps look like a bit high. I think it's going to be a bit hard, hard to knock the bale off. <laughs> Don't fucking spray paint it. And then <laughs> should just sit on the top. Like I thought that was Mad Mal. I thought Mal was the umpire. Bold him! Bold him! And Sammy is dead with the big spin. Whoa! Swing. Oh, nice ass move, Walter. Oh, yeah, good. But make sure if you miss, you go behind the line. Yo! Gary, 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 Gary. You puffed there, big man, or what? Sorry. You a bit puffed, or what? Just having a rest. Uh, just Flight's taking it easy. One day. In the bowl. That is definitely a wide. And it's a throw. So Not much umpiring going on here, Neil. Another throw. Uh, come on, bit bow underarm. Look at this. That's going to be a boundary. They even get the big car in. Yeah. Interference from the summer. announcement as to which team was successful. 
Um, there's a few awards first. Um, the best batter of the match. Yes. Where's yes. Mark? I'm here. Here, Mark. Come over here. Oh, Mark. Mark, Mark, come on, Mark. Get in there. You've got to put this around your neck and wear it for the rest of the day. Never too late. First time. Sorry. You got that? Well done. Congratulations. Well done, Mark. Well done, Mark. Catch of the match and the bowling award has been merged. So it says best bowler, but it's actually uh, for both catch and best bowler. And that goes to Andy, wherever he is. Ah, uh, yes. You've got to wear it for the rest of the day. Thanks, mate. Good job. So Where is he? Is he still here? Yeah. Oh, I thought... Definitely a big set. Yeah, the OT. Would you like to say anything? Yeah. It was a very close match between Anzac 1 and Anzac 2. Anzac 1. Anzac 1. Anzac 1. <laughs> Let's not get uh, carried away. <laughs> Anzac won with a tally uh, of 102, batted very, very well. Yes. However, we were two, uh, six runs shy of the winners, yes. Anzac 2. Oh! Oh! Well, oh, so, uh, the captain of Anzac 2. Oh, that's Gary. Well, this is appropriate. The award, uh, Perpetual Trophy, Memorial Trophy. The Perpetual Trophy, Memorial Trophy, was actually named after Gary's father, Don. So, uh, would you like to come and tell us a bit about your father and accept this award? Thanks, uh, thanks, Mel. Thanks, everybody, uh, for coming along on and participating in the cricket match. I think it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a good follow-up to our uh, Australia Day cricket match and um, uh, it was fantastic and it was played in a great spirit and everybody uh, every, everybody had a bit of fun with each other. Um, there were fielders from both sides seemed to be out there playing games but um, it, it was good and uh, it was a very close competition and um, when I went out I said to tell Mal I would go and sponsor the trophy for the cricket match uh, for Anzac Day. It was named after my father, Don Sundon. Uh, he fought in, obviously, in World War II. He went through uh, Egypt, Palestine, El Alamein, Syria, Moratai, and New Guinea. Um, so, uh, yes, a little bit. I took some shrapnel on the run there. I took a prize on a purple heart or something. <laughs> or a, so a, little motion, a little bit emotional for me to win um, the trophy uh, for our t on behalf of our team, not me winning it, but our team. But uh, uh, both teams, uh, it's on behalf of everybody that's here today. Uh, my father um, served, he, he uh, enlisted underage, uh, hence he was one of the younger ones in his, in his troop. Um, he was in the second 101 transport division and uh, served all through the Middle East. Had his 21st birthday in the sands of Palestine. He, um, he organised the only unofficial test match of, of Australia and uh, South Africa in, um, on the sands of Syria. So um, he, was, uh, he was an amazing man. He was the most generous man I uh, ever met. And uh, yeah, the... The most amazing man I've ever known. Well done, Gary. And you're very proud of us being here today. So, um, I hope this uh, trophy can stay in uh, Verve and um, and be here for many years to come. And we look playing for it. Look forward to playing for it with it again, and uh, hopefully winning it again next year. So, well done, Anzac Twos. Yeah. And well done, Anzac Ones. Oh, nice. And then get stuck into the chicken on us. Have a good one. Play the music. Hello, everybody. I just like to uh, just quickly. Doesn't matter about my name. I'm just incognito. But I would like to, especially to our Indonesian staff and Indonesian people here, 
to uh, commemorate the 52 people that died in the submarine off North Bali. Yes. Yeah. And that is a very important day. It happened to be Woo. Anzac Day. And they are representing their country as naval people to protect their country. And they've all passed away. So I have to take my hat off. Thank you. Well, thank you, Brownie. That was um, certainly very well worth mentioning and noting. Uh, look, just be, before we so we can stop talking, um, we just want to finish up with a, a final few thank yous to acknowledge uh, this uh, event being possible today. Obviously, first of all, was Mel and and Heidi from Verve who have uh, put on the rum, have. Uh, margaritas and uh, french fries and gravies and um, Jeff and uh, and Ida from Temptations who have supplied the paninis and the uh, Anzac biscuits today. Um, Neil Brownie with the uh, doing the chickens so thank you guys that was fantastic. Um, the guy the people uh, Jeff and um, Jeff and, um, sorry, I've lost uh, names for the moment. A few beers have started to kick in. Um, Brownie and, um, and Laurie, who joined us, um, helping out with the Anzac Day service. And a big thank you to Steve uh, for his fantastic singing of the National Anthems. I'll remember that for a long time, mate. That was really, really beautiful. So um, thank you for that.